work today, mister! Run, Lloyd! Run for your life! <laughs> hey! You ain't garbage! Yes! Superlative! I was worried, Lloyd! Imagine, if you will, the most boring boredom imaginable. Now imagine yourself sitting around, being bored with all this terrible boredom, wishing you had something to do. Anything that wasn't lame, pathetic, and boring. That is how I'm spending my vacation. <clears throat> oh, come now, Lloyd. While it's true that visiting your grandfather won't compare with my family's dirt biking excursion, I'm sure you'll have some fun. I'm not just visiting my grandpa, Douglas. I'm staying with him for a whole week on the retirement planet. Aw, oh, man. Those places are crawling with retired people. All they do is sit around and take medicine. No, uh My granny Gloopy is retired, and she sits around knitting me these really cool shirts. Even worse. Lloyd, you are done for. Tell me about it. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like my Grandpa Leo, but I'm a teenager. I can't be hanging out with him for a whole week. We don't have anything in common. My heart goes out to you, buddy. And during my vacation, while I'm riding my rocket bike and goofing off and watching TV and reading comics, I'll try and remember to think of you. Thanks, Eddie. That'll help. And fortunately, I've thought of one other thing that just might help me, too. No, Lloyd, you may not take your game guy to Grandpa's. But, Mom! Look at this. You must have 20 different game cartridges in here. Cochacho! Lloyd! Aw, oh, come on, Mom. Please. There's not going to be anything else to do on Leisure Sphere besides eat Obran and take naps. That sounds like fun. Great. Francine can go instead of me. Not this time. And come on, Lloyd. You know they have plenty of fun planned activities. Fun for old people, maybe, but not for normal people. Your grandpa invited you so you could spend time together, Lloyd. Not so you could ignore him. Give it a chance. Don't be so close-minded. And who knows? You may just end up looking back on this as your favorite vacation ever. <sighs> Right on time. Welcome to Leisure Sphere. Hey, Grandpa Leo. Thanks for inviting me for a whole entire week. My pleasure, Lloyd. And boy, did we pick a great day for you to get here. The place is hopping with activity. Yep, it don't get much better than this. Oh. Well, enough of this lollygagging. I think it's time we took a spin back to my pad in my brand new tricked out hover car. Boy, this sure is the life. The wind in my face, the adrenaline pumping through my veins, and my favorite grandson by my side. Ladies? Yes, indeed, I got a feeling we're in for a dandy of a primo time. Why, heck, just wait till you see what I've done with the condo. It's a regular hangout central for cool guys like us. Are we almost finished driving there by any chance? Oh, sure, Lloyd. Heck, I only live a couple of blocks away. We'll be there in 10, maybe 15 minutes easy. Here we are, the new and improved Crazy Time Man Pad. Neat, Grandpa. Only, how is it new and improved? It kind of looks the same as the last time. Looks can be deceiving, my boy. Get a load of this! This here whopper I caught about 200 yards out there on Plasma Sound. With Get a load of that, Lloyd! All fishing all the time, thanks to my new premium cable TV package. <laughs> but don't worry, if you're not in the mood to watch fishing, I got the classic game show rerun channel, too. But there'll be plenty of time for that later. Quick, stow your gear on the converter couch. We gotta get going. But where? I mean, we just got here. <laughs> I guess all the excitement of your big trip made you forget how hungry you must be. Heck, look at the clock for Pete's sake. It's practically four. And? It's dinner time, Lloyd. Come on, let's hustle before all the soft food is gone. <gasps> Now, Lloyd, I recommend you start off with the minced plap. Save the pre-digested glucose pudding to last so you can really savor it. Um, you know, Grandpa Leo, I'm really not all that hungry. Oh, you've just got a touch of rocket lag. You'll be wolfing it down carefully like everyone else in no time. Leo! Hey, Leo! Woo-hoo! Yeah, pull up a chair, you old fool. Hey, it's the guys. Come on, let's sit with them. They're a barrel of laughs. Lloyd, these are my friends, Buddy, Mel, and Gumbo. Fellas, this here's my grandson, Lloyd. Hey, Floyd. Hello, boy. Lloyd's staying the week with me. Ain't that something? Yeah, hey, that's really something, all right. Stay in the week with you. That really is something. Boy, oh boy, you ain't kidding. <laughs> Well, look at what we got here now. Why, it's old Leo's grandson, Lloyd. He's staying here for a whole week, I bet you. Well, <laughs> ain't that something? 
Mm-hmm. You said it. Mint's clap is nice and dry. Yep, ain't that the truth. Say, uh, could you guys excuse me, please? I'll be right back, Grandpa Leo, but I kind of need to talk to someone. Talk to someone? Who's he gonna talk to? Making friends already? That boy is fitting right in. Say, you know something, fellas? Leo's boy Floyd there just showed up, and by golly, he's already making some friends. I tell you, that boy's fitting right in. Eddie, I've got to talk to you. I've got to talk to somebody who's not old. I've only been here a day, and I'm already going out of my mind with boredom. Uh, hold that thought, buddy. i got to save my video game and put my ice cream back in the freezer. Oh, man, there's going to be a dance, too? With old people? This is going to be a bigger disaster than I thought. Well, what do you know? Lloyd's on the phone. Must be talking to his mother, telling her what a great time we're having. Ah, there's a good kid there, calling his mother. You know, I think I'll check in and give her a howdy-do myself. All right, Lloyd, fill me in. Aw, uh, Eddie, I'm having the worst time ever. Grandpa Leo's trying hard to show me a good time, but I can't relate to him. It's like nothing interesting ever happens around here. Son, how's it going? Oh, hi, Grandpa Leo. I was just hanging up. Nonsense, boy. Let me talk to your... Vivian. Uh, Grandpa? Are you okay? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey there, Nora. Having a dandy time with your boy. Eating dinner, almost done, and hot dang, if she ain't the sweetest dream shuttle this side of the galaxy. <laughs> Grandpa Leo, are you looking at that old lady over there? Of course not, Mommy. I'm good, sweet chicken frizz. She's coming this way. And so what exactly was that all about? It's weird. He was normal before, but now suddenly he's acting all goofy and junk. Babbling, running out the door. Eddie, I don't know if you're going to believe this, but I think my Grandpa Leo's got a crush. <laughs> Grandpa? Lloyd? Ah, oh, heck, I'm sorry. Did I just rush off and leave you in the dining hall? I didn't even realize it. Uh, well, that's okay, Grandpa. I mean, it was easy to catch up with you and all, but running off like that was kind of unusual. Yeah, well, uh, I just suddenly remembered it was time for my favorite TV show. Yeah, that's right, TV! Crustacean Jones, expired fishing license investigator. Come on, Lloyd, have a seat. Uh, I'm not really interested in watching TV. You're not? Then maybe I can tempt you with Volume 3 of Senior Digest's all-time favorite large print crossword puzzles. Grandpa, what happened back there? I mean, one minute you were acting like a regular old guy, the next minute you got all goofy and ran away. And it seemed like it had something to do with that lady. Lady? What lady? I didn't notice any lady. You mean Vivian? Was she there? Why, I had no idea. What a completely meaningless coincidence. Grandpa, do you have a crush on her? <laughs> a crush? At my age? Oh, Lloyd, that's the problem with you teenage boys. Always reading your romance novels, filling your heads with silly notions. Believe me, I have absolutely no interest in that woman. Oh, what do you know? It's almost 4.30. Better get to bed. I got another big day planned for us tomorrow. Just me and my good old grandson, Vivian. <laughs> Oh, yeah, your Grandpa Leo? He's crazy about old Vivian Del Tridium. That's what I thought, but when I tried asking him, he acted like I was crazy for even thinking it. Ah, well, you know, he doesn't like to make a fuss over it, because he's kind of shy. My Grandpa? Shy? Well, sure, why not? Ain't so all fired and usual for a feller to be shy around a gal. Boy, howdy by golly, being around a gal can make a man act like a darn fool. Like his brain don't work no more. Like he's got a belly full of caterwauling crater cats, and pretty soon all he wants to do is turn tail, lick his split, and head for the nearest exit. Well said, Gumbo. I've noticed that myself. Your grandpa won't go near that woman. Yeah, it's a low-down shame, too, because Vivian Del Tridium is a great old girl. You ain't kidding. Well, what if we tried to help him out? Help him out? Us? What you talking about, boy? You guys say it's really hard for Grandpa Leo to go up and talk to her on his own. What if we found a way to make it easier? Mm. Chef was whipping up a new batch of fiber cubes. Sorry I took so long. Uh, that's okay, Grandpa Leo. Me and the guys were just talking about stuff that didn't have anything to do with you. But I do have a question. What's that, son? Where are we going to go after breakfast? Mm. Mm. <laughs> Confound it. Weightless bocce ball, Lloyd. The king of spectator sports. Keep an eye on old Walter there. He's a champ. If he hits Myron's ball on this next toss, then he gets to move it two inches to the left. Uh, that's neat, Grandpa. Shh. 
Here he goes. Fiddle Shrek. <laughs> yes, sir. Did you see that, Lloyd? Did you see that? Excuse me. Huh? Oh, hi, Leo. Uh, That's right. His name sure is Leo. I'm his grandson, Lloyd. Well, what a delight it is to meet you, Lloyd. Uh, funniest thing, I was at the rec center and I got a message to come over here. Sounds like you don't even know who it was from. Well, no, I don't. I wonder how that happened. Well, I'm sure it's just a mix-up. A puzzling mix-up at that, ma'am. But hey, while you're here, maybe we could all hang out together. What do you say about that, Grandpa Leo? Uh, Grandpa Leo? <laughs> Sorry about running off like that back there, Lloyd. You see, I just suddenly remembered something I forgot is all. Aw, oh, that's okay, Grandpa Leo. Maybe a nice game of golf will help you get focused again. Great idea, Lloyd. Nothing but us men out in the open air, going one-on-one -on -one to the finish. Well, hey there, Leo. Hi, Lloyd. Huh? Fancy seeing you here. My, oh my. It's Vivian. Heck, nobody looked at the schedule and told me she signed up to play golf at this time. I'm as surprised as you are. Say, why did you boys join me and make it a threesome? Thank you, Vivian. That sounds like an unexpected delight. What do you say, Grandpa Leo? Grandpa Leo? <laughs> Too many fiber cubes. Boy, there's nothing like a harmless and completely uneventful sculpting class to pass the time. What the? Lloyd, are you taking this class alone? Nope, I'm taking it with my... Yes, as a matter of fact, I am. Ah, there's nothing like a pool. You said it, Lloyd. Why, back in my day, I was a regular... All right, Lloyd, that does it. Supposing you tell me what's going on. Oh, whatever do you mean, Grandfather? You keep suggesting we go places, and every time we do, we run into Vivian. <laughs> and hey, what are these three jokers doing behind this wall? <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, fellas. <laughs> Never drink buttermilk before going out to spy. Spying, huh? Oh, I see. This has all been a setup. You four are working in cahoots. Ah, uh, Grandpa Leo, don't get mad at those guys. It was my idea. I just wanted to help you out. You know, get you and Vivian together. Not that old saw again. I'm telling you, Lloyd, I do not like Vivian Del Tritium. Oh, all right, so maybe I like her. But so what? She's not going to want anything to do with a guy like me. How do you know if you never even talk to her? I can't talk to her. I got nothing to say. Well, you could ask her if she'll go to the big dance with you on Friday. What? I can't go out there asking her to the dance. I'll just make a fool of my darn Ooh, self. Oh, golly. She's done reading her book. She's heading this way. Uh-oh. I got to get out of here. No, Grandpa. This is your big chance. What? Ask her, Leo. Go on, you darn fool. We got your back. By golly, I'll do it. Leo? I, uh, 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 uh... Well, hello, Vivian. It's Mitch! Mitch! Oh, golly, it's Mitch! Who's Mitch? The most irresistible ladies, man, on Leisure Sphere. That's who. Fella, don't tangle with Mitch. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh, well, hello, Mitch. Say, toots, nice book. And speaking of reading, how's about tripping the life fantastic with me at the annual senior dance Friday night? Oh, well, um, oh, was there something you wanted to ask me? I, uh, I, uh... Men's room's right around the corner, Leo. So anyway, dollface, what do you say? You want to cut a rug? Well, uh... Oh, sure, Mitch. Why not? Thanks for asking. You're very welcome. Grandpa, are you okay? No, I'm not okay. I'm not okay at all. I knew I should have just kept quiet and stayed away from her. Well, that won't be a problem now, because I'm going back to the condo, and I ain't coming out for a long, long time. Celebrity Name My Brainwave Frequency is a Bob Zorknoff production and was taped in front of a pressurized studio audience. Hey, what'd you do that for? I did it because I'm worried about you, Grandpa Leo. All you've done for the last day is sit around and watch TV. Yeah? Well, TV's good for you. Don't they teach you nothing in school? Hey, I know. Let's go out and do something. We could go cruising in your really cool car. I'm too depressed for cruising. We could hang out with your friends in the dining hall. I'm too depressed to hang out. We could go for a walk. I'm too depressed to walk. Grandpa, you can't just sit around depressed for the rest of your life. Of course I can. People do it all the time. But not you. You're a frisky senior citizen. You're always...
always doing stuff. Yeah, well, those days are gone for good. Aw, oh, Grandpa. Don't you are Grandpa me, Lloyd. Listen, my life was going along nice and comfortable. Last thing I needed was to get tangled up in the web of some sizzling hot tomato. Well, why not? Because when it comes to women, I always end up looking like a big idiot. I'm no good with them. Heck, if your grandma hadn't proposed to me, we probably never would have got married. So if you don't mind, I'm just going to stay in here where it's nice and safe and nobody can hurt my feelings. All right? If you say so. I guess you're right. There's no sense trying for things you might not get. Thanks for the lesson, Grandpa. What are you talking about, boy? You're just the one guy I've always known I could go to for advice. And you've always been so sure of yourself. I don't know. I've just got a feeling that if all this happened to me, you wouldn't tell me to sit around all day. I think it would tell me to stop feeling sorry for myself and go out there and stand up for what I wanted. Yeah, well, sometimes it's hard to follow your own advice. I guess. But I've got to say, Grandpa, I always figured that at least you were a guy who would try. Lloyd? Grandpa? Dances tomorrow night. If I'm gonna win Vivian over from this Mitch guy, I'm gonna need a pretty good strategy. That's okay, Grandpa. I'm a teenager. I go to the movies an average of four and a half times a month. I think I know exactly what to do. Hello. Baby, you look like a million crocs Let's shake a leg. Oh, oh sure, Mitch. Sure there's a whole lot of fancied up ladies. Ain't that the truth? A lot of people dancing. Ain't that the truth? Ooh, ooh, yeah, you bet you a whole lot of ladies dancing. <laughs> Ain't no ladies dancing with us, though. Boy, oh boy, you said it. Yep. Hi, guys. What you doing here, Lloyd? I figured you'd be hanging out at your grandpa's condominium. No point in doing that if grandpa's gonna be here. Leo's coming? Where is he? He'll be making his entrance shortly. Excuse me. Gentlemen, if you will. Lights. Oh, what's happening? What's that all My about? Goodness. Music. And Grandpa. <gasps> Leo? That's right, baby. But enough of this small talk. Let's boogie down. She's dancing with me. You call that dancing? Lay your papers on this. Oh, yeah, that wasn't nothing. Stand back. with me, Mitch. Give it up, Leo. You can't compete with me. Oh, yeah? Well, watch me try. where you're going down. Uh, Grandpa Leo, are you all right? Leo, what's wrong? Uh, heavens to Betsy. I think I ruptured my splugle. Your splugle sustained fairly minor trauma, Mr. Andromedos. It should be completely healed in a couple of weeks. Meanwhile, I recommend busting no more moves. Understood? All right. Well, Floyd... I guess our little plan didn't quite go as expected. Sorry, Grandpa. Oh, that's okay. At least it was more interesting than sitting around watching TV. I just wish things could have ended up better with Vivian. Like if maybe she came and visited you in the hospital? Huh? How are you feeling, Leo? Uh, humiliated? That whole disco dance act was one of the most ridiculous displays I've ever seen. Well, yeah. Sorry about that. Don't be sorry. No? I'm glad you did it. Up till then, all you ever did was run away every time you saw me. I was starting to worry that you didn't like me. You were? You mean you... But what about Mitch? Mitch? I don't care about Mitch. I just wanted to go to the dance. Nobody else was asking. Well, I'll be. Uh, you know something? Suddenly I'm hungry for a big old bowl of mince plap. I'll come back and check on you later. 
Hello? Hi, Lloyd. Hey, Gribblio. Hi, Lloyd. Vivian, how's it going? Oh, just great. Your grandpa's taking me over to the rec center for some low-impact shuffle hockey. Thought I'd see how the old leg healed up. But first, I wanted to give you a call, make sure you're settling back in okay. Oh, sure. You know, I'm hanging out, playing video games, just like always. Great, great. Well, don't let us keep you from your fun. It was nice talking again. See you later. Uh, hey, wait. Something the matter, Lloyd? No, only, well, we just got on the phone. I was kind of hoping we could talk for a while. I mean, unless you guys are in too much of a hurry. Heck, Lloyd. For you, we'll slow down anytime. Thanks, Grandpa. So, what's going on over there? How are the guys? Ah, they're just great. Mel got a new V-neck from the Sweater Fella catalog. And where do you hear this? Gumbo won the big jackpot at Tuesday night's Fringo game. The whole thing? 37 Crontars. Boy, I tell you, it's been some really exciting times around here lately. You ought to come out sometime soon and visit us again. You know something, Grandpa Leo? I'd like that. I really think I would.